aloha and welcome to Holistic Wellness Reveal. I'm Letitia Sharp and together today we are going to talk about biohacking for ultimate health. My guest today is conscious motivator and wellness entrepreneur, Barry Danielle Kling. Hi, Danielle. How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful. I am just overjoyed to have you on today. Um, this whole subject about biohacking and everything is such a buzzword these days, and a lot of people use it. And I honestly, I'm not even really sure that people who are saying biohacking really know what it is. And you traveled the world. And if anybody needed biohacking in their life, <laughs> with all the time zones that you travel through and um, all of the things that you help people to be able to achieve consciously, uh, I just, I'd like to hear what your definition of biohacking is. Definitely. Um, so traditionally, the definition of biohacking is to use science and biology and analytical data to basically create the most optimal version of your health and take control of your own biology. And I think for some people, they think that it's it sounds like hacking, right? So it sounds kind of like cheating, but I really think that it's an opportunity to get to know yourself better. And it's really what you do with that data and how deeply you want to get to know yourself in certain aspects of biohacking. I mean, you can't, it's not just biohacking your body, right? It's, it's biohacking your lifestyle. It's biohacking your relationships. It's biohacking um, your environment around you. So I really think that it's an expansive word for me that allows people to um, come into a space of, yeah, like better remembrance and getting to know themselves better. Great. So it's, it's kind of, um, so first of all, I like what you said about how it's all parts of you, because that's what we do here on this show is we talk about all parts of ourselves. So the yeah. physical, the mental, the spiritual, the emotional, all of it. And that includes your lifestyle, your relationships, your, your food intake, how you walk on this earth, right? How you share yourself, how you contribute to the collective. So I, I love that expansive definition of this buzzword biohacking. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's cool it's now that it's starting to kind of become more mainstream and people are kind of looking into it more because there's so many tools and technologies that we can use to um, get to know ourselves better and to create better performance in our lives and more more health. But at the same time, I, I think we've talked about this before together, but, you know, if we put ourselves too much outside of ourselves and we're we're living in that external then it can kind of become this toxic relationship so I feel like using it properly and understanding what you're using it for is really the key right and that also goes to what you said about saying it's kind of like cheating it's not there for us just to have a magic pill and you said this the other day when we were speaking about how it's not there to do the work for us right? We're the ones doing the work. It's there to provide this tool and this technique for us to be able to know ourselves better and to activate that part of us that can walk through this life as a more holistic version of ourselves. Totally. I think if the the mind, body, and spirit aren't all integrated on all levels, then you're you're not actually like healing a problem, right? So you can start like the awareness starts in the body for a lot of people because we're here on this physical plane. And so I think that that's where it's cool is biohacking can be a starting point for a lot of people. But then if you don't go into the emotional body and and if you don't go into like the spirit and heal those things from an energetic level as well, from that depth from within, then, you know, that problem is going to keep popping up no matter how much you're biohacking the physical, right? It's there to show you something and, and your body wants you to listen. Such a, such a good point. And there's, there have been tools throughout eons and eons of talking about that. You know, I always tell anybody who comes to me, I'm like, listen, you're not just going to come and get a massage and be healed from your knee issue, your aching knee. Your knee represents 
all these things. And it can be similar with many people and everybody is so individually unique that you also have to find what that part is. What is that for yourself? And the only person who can do that is each individual person. So I might do something that's the same as you for a therapy. And we have totally different correlations to how that relates to our healing in our life. So yeah, I'm super happy you actually, you touched on that because I think a lot of times um, in society, we're bombarded with a lot of different marketing or uh, other agendas, right? Or even information and studies that are super biased based on uh, whatever industry funded the study, right? Um, and what's cool about biohacking is it really empowers the person to collect their own data for themselves to figure out how to customize in a scientific way um, that is proven to work for them. And so it's kind of cool, but I mean, it is, it can be a lot of work. It can be time consuming because you are having to really dive in and understand some of these concepts if you truly want to understand yourself. And it's cool because ultimately you would want to know how to, you know, take control of your health. You know, these bodies are so important um, and they allow us to be here. And so we want to take care of them because yeah, we have to live in them and it, it affects our quality of life. <laughs> absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. I, I really, I appreciate that. So there are some, let's talk first of all about something, because I know that you experiment and you've tried and you practice a lot of different physical um, biohacks and some of them, maybe I, I'm going to talk about, I, I'd ask you to start with the things that work. And we have some images of you going through some of the things, but is there anything, also there's ones that don't work, right? And that's okay too. We yeah. get to choose like, oh gosh, you know, just because Joe Schmo and every other million people think that this works, it doesn't mean it works for you. So like what you're just saying, right? Yeah, it's true. And it, dep it depends on what you're using it for, right? Mm -hmm. So like, for example, my partner, he has, um, sometimes he has an overactive immune system from Epstein-Barr. So we'll go in and we'll do like an ozone therapy IV, which is great for people that have overreactive immune systems. It, it um, adds extra, extra oxygen to the blood and it helps with infection and um, any sort of ongoing or chronic condition. So when he goes in and he gets that, he has like this whole relief. He feels amazing afterwards and I do it. And I know I'm just doing it for more like general, you know, checkup health, but I don't necessarily feel anything. Right. So it really just depends on, yeah, what, what you're using it for. That's how a good point. How you're using the tools. Yeah, that's a good point. So let's start with um, one of the first things that you do. What is this? We have an image up right now. What, what is that? What are those things? Are those going into your body? Are they on top of your skin? What's so, up? We're, what we're looking at here is my back. And, um, I went and had a stem cell therapy. So basically, um, the doctors that I went to in this particular instance, they harvest your own stem cells from your spine. So actually the ones that are in the center there, we're going in to extract the stem cells from the spine. And then the areas there on the hips were injections back into the spine. So I did, I had a lower back injury there. And then I also, um, it runs in my family, the, the genetics in the hips usually are not that good. So it's more of a preventative care here. And when you're using stem cells, um, it helps regenerate the body. So you can use them from yourself, or you can also use them from um, like a placenta or cut cord blood or um, that kind of thing, depending on what results you're looking for. Huh. That's, that's fascinating. Okay. So stem cell, that's one physical thing that we can do. If that's what you're called to do, that sounds really cool. I would love to, I know there's so much talk with stem cells, with cancer research and all of these um, degenerative diseases. So I'd imagine that that's really, really uh, beneficial. Yeah. So what I, else? I, oh, oh, sorry. Go I was ahead. Gonna say, I was going to say, I'd encourage anybody who's looking at um, like 
a big surgery, like if they tell you, oh, you have to get surgery on your shoulder to fix it. If you're not keen for surgery, definitely look into stem cells. I feel like it's a great regenerative um, procedure that you can have done. So this is my garage. And um, I just wanted to include some photos of things that we have in our house that are things that we use like really often that really work. And this is an infrared sauna. So I feel like one of the most important biohacks that pretty much anyone can do or find near them is heating the body up. And that could even just mean like heating the body up internally from a workout or your own breath. Um, detoxing you can do in many different ways. Um, but yeah, infrared sauna is one of our favorite ways to do that. And so that's great. And I see the workout ball and there's a workout room too. So like what you said, just working out increases your heat. It moves things around. Yeah. It's definitely a mood boost too. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. All of the endorphins get going. Okay. Moving on. What's our, our next? Oh, yes. There she so, is. <laughs> the red, the red light therapy. This is a red bed. So this one's actually really cool because it has the face and the body at the same time. But um, this is used. This one's also used for mood boost, but it's really good for the skin. It helps stimulate collagen and um, any sort of like skin irritations or rashes. I know it's used for like thrust in the mouth. It's very healing and it's also very just soothing for the body. Um, but that's another great one that it's easy to get in your home. It's not too expensive, but you can also find it pretty easily as well. So yeah, like there's that. a lot of, um, red light therapies that you can go to. Actually, I, I do that in Hawaii Kai quite yeah. often. And also what I've heard about the red light therapy that I love is it works with replenishing your mitochondria in your cell. So it also works at the cellular level, right? It does. And it's amazing. I, I found that a lot of biohacking actually really works on the mitochondrial level. And um, for the listeners, the mitochondria is what produces the energy in the cells of your body. So if you can have your mitochondria firing, then that means that you're like on top of it. You feel great. You're full of energy. So yeah, it's a huge benefit. Yeah. We want healthy mitochondria. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and ourselves. <laughs> yeah, because it also helps repair the cells, right? So yes. if we're repairing the cells, then we're not aging as quickly. We're not deteriorating as fast. So that's right. also a main goal in like longevity. So this is um this is in London. We actually we have some great friends over there at H U M 2 N and um they always put us in their H bot, which is a hyperbaric chamber. And so it's actually, they have a huge one. You can literally like work out in there if you wanted, but it, that's also great for recovery and performance. It helps. So what it does is it pressurizes. So it's like the elevation goes up super, super high. So your body's having to work extra hard and it uh, is able to take in more oxygen. So again, for any recovery or performance kind of people, that is a great biohack for that. Did I see something on one of your Instagram posts or something one time where you said that this is one of the things that you use in order to be able to recover from traveling? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely helps with um, brain fog and jet lag. Okay. Nice. I think mostly due to just the, it helps replenish the oxygen in the body. And, but it doesn't have oxygen flowing in. It's just a pressure thing. Is that correct? It depends on, it's a pressure thing. Some of them actually, you can wear an oxygenated face mask just so that you're getting like even more, um, but it's not required. You still get the benefits without that. So I wanted to include this one because it's a simple one and it's so important. Um, the quality of water that we're drinking like straight from the tap is not great. And I think it's about time that we all kind of wake up to that reality and we're really seeking the best quality of water that we can. Um, this is actually a natural spring. Um, you can find it on findaspring.com. There's a website, you can find natural springs near you. And so I thought it would be fun for me and my partner to go out and actually get it like straight off a mountain and put it in a glass container. Um, but yeah, one of the most simple biohacks is just making sure that you have beautiful filtered clean water that's reactivated. 
because we want to be, you know, our bodies are filled with water and we want all of it to be active. <laughs> I have to say, this is probably one of my favorites because I'm, I am really big into what the earth has to give to us and knowing that as long as we care for our planet, it can care for us. So the more, this goes all along the lines of everything to do with taking care of our soil, taking care of our waters, um, taking care of our air, <laughs> taking care of all the things so that we can have that reciprocal relationship. This is the, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> Agree. So this one, um, I'm wearing some lymphatic drainage pants and I'm also wearing a brain tap. So a brain tap is like a meditation device that has light, light flickers to help get you into a more theta state, um, which is that like subconscious mind. So you can start reprogram reprogramming on a subconscious level, which is so important to like back to what we were talking when emotional healing and kind of, you know, getting to that ultimate state of a more permanent change. Doesn't it with the, all the flickers and everything, it gets rid of that monkey brain. That mm -hmm. part of us, and that's what helps you get into the theta, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it drops you out of the more, um, the other states of um, like the beta thinking brain. And yeah, it drops you straight into the subconscious and quickly. Cause that, like you said, the lights are what help you like come out of the, I guess, yeah, your, your thinking brain. <laughs> right. Yeah. Your thinking brain. Stop the stinking thinking. Uh, and the lymphatic drainage, got to touch on that. I mean, our whole body talking about water being in our body, lymph makes up a huge part of our body. And once that isn't moving around, then that's when toxins can settle, right? So, yeah. and a lot of people that deal with chronic pain too, they don't realize that the pain is a symptom of the um, inflammation in the body. So lymph, lymphatic drainage and movement, like you said, can also reduce inflammation, which can reduce pain. So love yes. that. Me too. <laughs> okay, this next one. So that's a TMS um, stimulator. And so this one, it's, it's a non-invasive brain thing that you can do that uses electromagnetic pulses to help um, stimulate the nerve cells. So it can actually help your brain. Like they basically did a test on us and it, they tell you like how fast your brain is running basically. And they can see where it slipped off like over time with those sensors. And they can basically kind of get it back up to that more optimal state of functioning. Um, and these devices are, I mean, it's, it's pretty expensive to do just to like optimize your brain. I'm not going to lie, but for people that have really serious brain injuries or depression or really bad brain fog, and it's can be really, really life-changing for them. And if you're looking for just high performance and optimization, it's, it starts with your brain in a lot of ways. So absolutely. It's a pretty cool one that not a lot of people know about. You touched briefly on it, but you know, where does life begin? <laughs> so my partner and I, we actually went to South Africa to do a full um, seven day cleanse with some shamans in South Africa. And we learned this really cool detox way to dump your liver and they combine um, this fasting with very specific timings of fruit and oils and enemas to really flush you from all, all different accesses of the body. And it's just, it's, I can't stress enough how important detoxing is just because of the environment that we're living in these days. And it's, it's just, it's kind of like housekeeping. We, we go to South Africa twice a year now and we, we do this cleanse with them. And I mean, yeah, keeping our bodies clean is such a huge component for our overall health. And a lot of times it's overlooked, um, yeah. grossly over, overlooked. Yeah. Okay. So your okay. frequency high as well too, what you're, what you're attracting into your life as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because then you're able to receive, right. With that vibratory match concept exactly. what's, and what's deal. Inside is what's outside exactly yes yeah. okay so that's all most everything that we just talked about is all physical stuff 
And then, but there is also um, biohacking for our mind. So I think that some really simple ones that work for me is, um, you can see in this picture here, I just have my hands kind of hovering over my food. And it's really um, the power of intention. And what's cool is, you know, this used to be a very like woo-woo thing, very woo-woo concept, like, oh, like energy, you know, speaking into existence. But it's really starting to become backed by science. And um, I'm just so excited that it's kind of starting to like integrate fully for people. But um, this is something that I do before I eat or drink anything. It's it's almost like you can think of it kind of like a prayer, but you're um, infusing the food with good energy and I, I just, and love and nourishment. So I just am telling myself, I love you. I love you. I love you. Let this nourish my body. And um, like on a scientific level, right? Our food is full of water and water has consciousness. And this has been proven by Dr. Emoto with his water studies. So basically they showed that if they spoke hate to the water under the microscope, the um, the water was like contorted, not in these beautiful shapes. And if they spoke love to it, they were like these perfect crystals, basically, just beautiful in reflection. And um, yeah, it's just that pause in the middle of the day that that always I can, you know, tell my body that I love it. And there's also another study that I found. Um, that came out by the, uh, the University of um, Ohio, Ohio State University, where they fed um, mice cholesterol. And they were trying to like see what would happen. So they had all these different um, groups of mice. And they found that like one of the groups of mice was like not getting high cholesterol, they weren't getting fat. And they were like, well, what's going on with this group of mice? And they were looking back on the footage and the researcher that was feeding them he would stroke them and tell them that he loved them before feeding them basically poison. And it was the intention behind what he was doing that actually caused the mice to not, you know, have awful benefits. So I really think that the power of intention can sometimes be the most important aspect of this. Absolutely. Yep. I always talk to my fish and tell them how much I love them. <laughs> the water. <laughs> They People think I'm a little crazy and I am. <laughs> so I would like to um, touch on some of the changes that you've noticed, some of the bigger healing changes emotionally that you've noticed and that you've seen and how you have healed. Um, I've watched a transformation in you and you always had the basic core of this essence that makes up Danielle Barry, and then it just blossomed. And I can only attest the blossoming to you doing all of this work and getting to the root of things. Can you, uh, do you feel comfortable sharing that? It's a little vulnerable. Yeah, no, I, I love this. And I think that this is what I came to earth to do is to share these experiences. But, you know, I've talked about this before. And I, I kind of came from an eating disorder at one point, kind of this whole body, body dysmorphia. Um, I have a hair condition that allows my hair to be kind of patchy. And for a long time, I wore extensions. And you can see here, I took them out and I was left with really not much. Um, so it's really been this journey of coming back to myself and loving myself fully um, and really choosing love over everything else. And, and with that attracting, you know, love into my life and, and all of that. So I think that, yeah, I think I just had an awakening at some point where I was just like, do I want to be 30, 40, you know, 50 years old and still having these battles with myself, um, self-judgment, like all of the pressure that, that we put on ourselves as from ourselves. And one of the biggest things that I can say since, you know, taking my extensions out and just choosing to sometimes walk around with like little patches in the back and whatever, um, is that nobody really cares but you. <laughs> and, you know, the things that we can't tell ourselves are the things that we believe. So the stories that you hold about yourself and that you speak out to other people is what they believe. So it's 
really this um, internal programming that needs to, to happen and the self-talk um, and self-love that really needs to start cultivating in the bar body. And you have to wake, every, uh, wake up every day and, and water that. You know, you can't, you can't feed the, the, um, the crazy voice. You have to feed the loving awareness and honor your true essence. I think that's when we step into our true beauty. Like I've never felt more beautiful than when I'm in my own truth. And I think that that's really like our highest powers, our superpowers that we can step into. That's so beautiful. And there's so much wisdom in that. So, so much was, and that's the key to finding our purpose which once we find that, then we can actually be a contribution back into the collective in a conscious way, which is what you're all about, is helping find people, um, helping people find their consciousness, their conscious selves, so that they can also find their purpose. And I just, I, I mean, yeah, we could probably talk for a whole nother episode about vulnerability and transparency and loving ourselves and all of that and how that translates outside to bring it back inside. So um, thank you so much for sharing that because uh, it, it's it can be very, very vulnerable, you know? Um, yeah. And it did, it led to your purpose because now what's happening yeah, it, it led to um, attracting my highest love into my life, which has been such a joy to experience because, you know, you don't, you attract what you are. And so I feel like in the past, I've attracted a lot of things that weren't like my highest reflection. And I feel like right now I'm in that space and that relationship where I am. And, you know, we work and we serve all around the world. Um, helping other people have breakthroughs through breathwork, meditation, and dance, and kind of work through those traumas and hold their hand and guide them through that battle that, you know, we've been through. And it's ongoing. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm perfect. I'm on the other side of all of it. Um, I'm not. I'm constantly working towards the highest version of just being in love, being in essence. Um, and it's, it's a constant practice, but it's so beautiful when you can also transform others and you watch them bloom and have that, like that light and that switch that finally turns on and just cracks them wide open to, to life and, and what we're actually meant to do here. Yes. Yes. I've been so happy to witness this relationship and just how the two of you are in service all over the world together as partners in this partnership also and it transcends age it transcends uh, language it transcends um cultures it transcends all of the things which to me is true healing so and there's joy and there's happiness that i see in the two of you and in in the children that are around you and the people that are around you at all times in fact i just i have to say for those of you who live in honolulu um we have a great opportunity to be able to Come and experience this at Magic Island on August 6th, correct? Sunday, August 6th. Yep. And if you want to know more about that, you can go to uh, the website, Noah Aon, and go to the events page. It's pulled up here for us and check it out and see if it's something. And this is cool too, because it's in nature. A lot of times they're in, um, you know, big places that are so beautiful also and it's also cool to be it's kind of special because isn't it one of your first trees or nature yeah, places yeah. So, the yeah. it's under this most beautiful tree in magic island that's just it just holds the space so beautifully but it was the the first event that my partner pavel and i um did together so it's kind of this full circle um event for us which is so exciting that is so exciting and i'm gonna be there i'm yeah. there no matter 
come hail, sunshine, anything, wind, I'm there because I wouldn't miss it for the world. I can't wait to experience this with all of you. And um, there's some great music things happening as well. So definitely tune into that and check it out, people. It's it's going to be lit for sure. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. Yes, look out for that. And other places too, if you're listening from uh, the mainland US, there are, a, there's, I think, five events. So definitely go to the, the website and also Instagram because you can find the information there. Um, so thank you so much, Danielle, because I think what you really helped, um, bring to the surface today is that this isn't a magic pill. This is something that everyone works at and every biohacking tool that there is out there is really just there for us to be able to find ourselves more completely. And um, thank you for being the person that goes out there and experiments with it all so beautifully and being able to bring it back to us in a way that's friendly, that's able, that's not so scary. Like, oh my gosh, you are connected to things, your blood's being taken out, putting back in <laughs> so many different things that a lot of people could have fear around. Um, and you really make it easier to see how maybe that could apply to your own life thank you so thank, thank you. you so much thank you so much for joining today on holistic wellness revealed where we talked about biohacking for ultimate health physical mental spiritual and emotional thank you danielle and to all of our sponsors and donors thank you for making it possible for us to be able to have these discussions and conversations on this platform Aloha and mahalo. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.